Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, where this finds you. Today, we have Miss Chelsea here. And as you can see, Miss Chelsea, she's a hot mess. Chelsea! She can't see for nothing, y'all. She can't see for nothing. But the owners want it long, so we're just gonna give her a little teddy bear face. We're just gonna trim her up just a little bit. Let me lower my my, my jams. I'm busting jams. To the window, to the wall. We all know where that song goes. <clears throat> so we're gonna brush her out. Daddy wants the private patch. Trim pretty short. Um, now she doesn't really need that much of a haircut, to be quite honest. So. I'm just going to shape her up. Now, this is the mane and tail. If y'all don't know, you know now. Um, you can get it in a pre-mixed bottle, or you can buy a bottle of it at the Walmart, Tractor Supply. Any hair that sells, um, you know, weaves or hair extensions. Ooh, girlfriend, you're going to fall and hurt yourself. You okay? Clearly, you a little nervous. I know. She Normally, she would always get groomed by Miss Debbie, but uh, Miss Debbie is no longer working here after her, <clears throat> her incident with her heart. She had to have that pacemaker put in. And then, you know, she, she was unresponsive for three minutes while during surgery, and she's had some... She's had some issues since then. Right now, the only thing she's got working against her is her hands um, and her memory. But, girl, you got a mat right there? Oh, come on, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was saying. I do that a lot. But we're just gonna trim her up just a little bit, just to neaten her up. Get her face all taken care of. I know, baby. I don't want to cut this out. Now, I'm just holding the hair in front of it so she cannot feel this. I know she can't feel it because it's how I do my hair and it's how I do my toddler's hair. Though most of the time I've been using that, um, that one brush you've seen on TikTok uh, where you just brush it through and it just goes through that hair. That stuff, that brush works. I got a ghetto one off of uh, Timu. I got it for 39 cents. Best 39 cent brush I've ever bought in my entire life. It goes straight through them, them knots. But, um, yeah, we're just going to neaten her up just a little bit. If you're a new viewer coming to my page, welcome to my special edness. You'll understand what I mean the more you watch my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a video or even shorts. Um, I've been trying to do a little bit more shorts here and there, um, but normally most of my shorts are um, usually with my animals at home that I have. I know, hold on, honey. H hold on. She's like, no, stop, leave it alone. I won't keep it. Well, you might want to keep it, but I don't think your mama and daddy won't keep it. Oh, ski, ski. Damn. Now, if you're looking for a really good brush um, and you're tired of spending money on getting new brushes like every few months because the pins them break, get this one right here that is a Chris Christensen I think it is the big G uh, I got it for 75 but I think it's on Amazon right now for like 65 I'm sure they might have a Black Friday sale <clears throat> I've had this brush for two years and I've used this on some big dogs this is the only pin right here that's messed up and that's because a dog bit my brush but all my other pins are in mint condition. They're not bent or anything. Um, I love that brush. Like, it gets through the mats. Now, if a dog is, like, pelted, 
You probably could demand it, but I'm not going to be the one to demand a dog that's pelted because one, that's painful. Brushing your dog is a required thing, just like you would brush your own hair. You need to brush your dog's hair and comb it. Matt's hurt. Matt's do not feel good. Tangles do not feel good. If you brush your own hair, you know that. Uh, let's see. We got a little knot right here. Sweet cheeks. When you move around, that's going to make it hurt more. So stop. Girlfriend. No, I got to get this out of your little cheekies. Okay? I can't leave... I can't leave knots in your cheekies. It's out, baby. See, look. It's right there. Girlfriend. Alright, you got one more right right here. Girlfriend. Stop. use this little baby one now they do have a baby one uh, this one I got for 35 but it still might be 35 or it might be 25 um, they are in my Amazon storefront I do get commission so if you purchase anything thank you if not you just look at it that's fine I appreciate you looking Look, I understand this does not feel good, but I got to get it out. And this is why we need to brush and comb our dogs at home. Now, I get life gets busy. I'm not trying to come for nobody. I mean, I have a standard poodle at home. But I normally shave his ass down because, well, by the time I get home, I'm too pooped to do anything. Because then I got to deal with my five kids I got at home. And whatever cleaning my husband hadn't gotten to. Because I'm pretty sure by the time I get home, uh, the kids have done messed everything up. Because, you know, I do got two five-year-olds at home. Alright, I'm going to shave the little booty hole. I'm going to shave the top of the base of her tail. And this way poop doesn't get stuck. Girl, don't do that. I hate when dogs do that. They sit down and it's like, dude, this is right by your booty hole. I don't want to nick it. When they do that, I'm always afraid that I'm going to like, oopsie daisy. And I don't want to oopsie daisy. Now this is a tin that I am using. Now some dogs are sensitive to having a tin on their private areas. So if you're not sure and you have a client, um, you can just simply ask them, hey, since this is the first time we're grooming, does she have any sensitivities to when her hair is cut shorter? <clears throat> Sometimes the client don't know and you're just, it's going to have to be trial and error because then the clients will be like, you cut it too short and now they're itchy and scratchy and they'll be mad at you. Um, but if you don't know, you can't fix the problem, but you can at least notate it in your system and know that for next time when you groom that dog. Nice clean paw. Now this is a 40 that I'm doing on the pads. Whenever you do your pads, always make sure you are gentle. Um, light touches. When you go in, make sure you do like a scooping. Don't go digging all in there like you're digging for gold. 
because um, you will nick the webbing in between uh, the pads, between the toesies. And we don't want any nicks on the feet, just like we don't want any nicks on the booty hole. Though the feet would be a little bit more different because, you know, they're walking on it. So they feel it a lot more often than they would a nick on their butt. They would only feel it on their butt if, you know, when you're going potty. But it is very easy to cut a pad if you're not paying attention. Now, it's not going to kill them. Um, but it is going to feel sore and awkward for a few days. And they're probably going to lick at their feet a lot, which can then turn into a hot spot because they're too busy licking it. So if you do ever nick those areas, especially the feet, make sure to let the owner know that there is a small nick there. Keep an eye on it and make sure that they don't lick it. Corners of the eyes. Come here, sweet cheeks. I know she's like, get out my face. Scoop this out. Scoop, 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 scoop. That's what Bonnie should say. Scoop. And I always shave in front of all my mouths. Top. girlfriend because their mouths get really funky let me see if I'm trying to keep this close so y'all can't see the information okay so we are going to grind your toes we're going to do that first see i like this one because it's got a light on it so i can see the quick it's really really good on these black nails um you can get this. This is hyper tough. You can get this at your local Walmart. Um, it's usually in the hardware department where they have their, you know, their special tools. Now, I don't recommend using any cheap sand paper because it will split very quickly. Get the Dremel kind because it'll last you a lot longer. Now she did get some teeth brushing in the tub. We use, uh, I think the flavor we have now is like a, a chicken. But it is a pet specific uh, toothpaste. Don't ever use human toothpaste on your dog. Um, it's sad that I have to say that, but I, there's, you'd be surprised how many people would uh, use that on their dogs. Let me turn this up just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to see if either the zero or the one will work. Now, I can't find my 30, so normally I would be telling y'all to put a 30 because that's been my new favorite play. But I got a nine up on here. We're going to try a zero. Because <clears throat> while the owner might not want hair taken off the body because it is getting cold out I still want to neaten this up because it looks a hot mess okay so that's taking only a little bit off and that's fine because we don't want a lot off we just want it to look nice and neat okay honey can you just turn this way a little bit she's like no I don't want to turn that way Everybody in this club getting tipsy. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. So this is a zero comb, which is a three, five eighths of an inch. I don't know why I was about to tell y'all it's two comb. But uh, this is a five eighths of an inch. Now, if you use a blade, I think the blade is actually a little bit shorter than the uh, comb. Whoa, that might be the tail. 
sweet cheeks. She's just so nervous. But I think she's always been like this. Miss Debbie used to always have her in like a little contraption to where she'd have her butt up. She'd have a thing around here and around there. And she'd just, her butt just be swinging. So I don't know if maybe she's just getting used to not having that there. Here comes the one, two, the three, two, the two. If you haven't subscribed to my page and you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And feel free to hit that notification bell. This way, whenever I upload any content, you'll be the second to see it because, you know, I'll be the first to see it. <laughs> I know it's a bad dad joke. But I do appreciate all those that do subscribe and have been continuing to follow my grooming. I really, really do appreciate every single one of you guys. If you would also like to follow me on Facebook, uh, you can go to facebook.com and just look up a mix of Melissa and you'll find all the grooms that I do that day. Because if I don't do a video on the dog, they will have photos of the dogs on there every day. Unless you know while well, I'm not here. Now she's going to be getting some cute little bows uh, in the front of her head. I'm going to show you them when I get done clipping her body. Girlfriend, you know, took your whole head out of this. But the bows are really, really cute. Um, Danielle had bought some Halloween bows. I don't have Halloween bows right now. So I was just going to give her a cute little bandana. But she always has bows. Now she has been chewing here. And then her inner legs look chewed. So I did bathe her in a medicated shampoo. Um, I did let it sit for a good 10 minutes. So this way it really got into her coat and her skin. Um... Normally when you're doing a medicated bath, you want to let it sit for at least five to 10 minutes because if you're just washing the dog with the medicated shampoo and as soon as you lather them up, you just rinse it off. You're pretty much flushing the amount of money that you spent <coughs> uh, on that medicated shampoo because y'all know it ain't cheap. Little tiny ass bottles be costing y'all $30. Uh, let it sit on your dog for a good five minutes, five, ten minutes. The longer you let it sit, the better, but I wouldn't do anything longer than ten minutes. You can always get a towel and put a towel, uh, wrap a towel on top of them. This way, so you know, they're not like freezing their little tushies off. Now, I technically could probably go down to a one comb, but like I said, I don't want her getting too much shorter. I just want to neaten her up because I think for her fall cut, I'm going to see if we can get her into an Asian fusion to where her body will be maybe short like this. It's not too short, but then her legs will grow out. Um, but that also is dependent on how often um, she comes in and if she's matted because if she's matted, I'm not going to to matter too too much because she is the older doll um, and I don't really like torturing them. Y'all saw how she didn't really like me getting those little tiny mats out of her face. But I can't send her home with mats in her face because then otherwise it's gonna get worse. Hmm. 
blow the whistle. Woo woo, blow the whistle. Woo woo. I think that's the song with that song. Nope, that's not the song that's song. Look, half the time I be making up my own lyrics over here and Daniel's like, uh, that's not the lyric. But you know, that's just me. I just do my own thing. Okay. Uh, I grinded her nails, we did her pads, we did her privates. We're gonna start sizzling her up now. Oh, where are them curves? Now I haven't been here in like four days, three, no, three days. So it's a little dusty up in her. I'm gonna have to dust everything. It collects quite a bit of dust up in here and sometimes when we're not here, uh, the girls from resort will use our tables sometimes. Because it is a lot easier for them to use our stuff. Little lady. Little lady. I don't want to lift your foot too high. I always try not to lift it higher than than this. Um, because, <clears throat> like I said in all my other videos, I don't know if they have arthritis, um, hip dysplasia, ACL issues. So it's just easier um, for me to just not lift them that high. Those are all of this. Move your little booty hole. I don't know why I just asked you to move your little booty hole. Like you can just pick up your booty hole and move it. But it's, it's been a long weekend, okay y'all? It is only Monday. Shit, it's not even Monday. Look. <laughs> See, I told y'all, it's been long. It's been a long week. It's, it's Wednesday. I don't know why I said Monday. I think it's because I was off yesterday at uh, Addison's. Because Addison had uh, dental surgery yesterday. If you want to know more about that, you'll have to watch um, Bam Bam's video. I'll tell you all about that and my other kids' surgeries coming up. I'm not looking forward to those surgeries, especially Kyrie's, man. I don't think she understands how serious it is either. So last night I made some overnight oats. I put a little bit of pumpkin pie seasoning up in there because you know it is fall and I gotta have my white girl fall, y'all. So I put a little pumpkin pie spice up in there. I put a little turmeric because turmeric is really good for your joints. I'm trying to incorporate more turmeric into my food. Um, it's really good for anti, it's anti-inflammatory, Tory. Oh my God, girlfriend. What is your malfunction? Why can't you just stand over here like this? There you go. It's like when I turn her over here, she goes like all bleh, what's going on? Girl, don't you turn back over here. I got you. Um, but yeah, I've been putting that stuff in there. I put some chai seeds up in there because, you know, chai seeds are all healthy for you. And they're good antioxidants, all that fun jazz. I put just a little pinch of brown sugar in there just for a little sweetness. Um, I got to get some uh, almond milk. I just put some 2% milk in there because, well, that's all I had. So, but man, that stuff was good. I made enough for three mornings, so I'm going to have some of that tomorrow and Friday. So now we're just neatening her up. Always make sure you get this little under part underneath here because when the dog's walking this way, you can see it sticking out. Same thing when you're walking it this way. Same thing with all your legs. You really want to look at them from each angle. Um, now, little dogs, you might be able to get away with it a little bit, but I don't recommend it because once the hair starts to, you know, get all funky-fied, you'll be able to see it a lot more easier. Mm -hmm. 
at it every day. They got some like baby face. So you want the Superman and woo! Sorry, I had to do a little Superman. I remember when this song came out, everyone was doing that crank stuff. What was that other song everyone was going crazy over? was not um it was Do the Stanky Leg. Shit, what's the name of that song? Do the Stanky Leg, Do the Stanky Leg. I can't think of the name of the song. All I know is the Stanky Leg. But it was it was popular, man. Oh, I just heard her stomach gurgle. And then I felt it. That felt weird. No, you can't tell do that, me. Man, that bitch is ugly. Finally, hey, that Superman, that Superman, oh. No, that's so good, boy. Why that so good, boy? Always make sure you blend this part right up in here. Because you want it to look... Like it's supposed to be like that. Now she does got some Cadillacs going on. She did not like the blow dryer. Uh, she went a little cray cray for it. Which is fine because like I said she is an older pup. So I just let her finish kennel drying in the kennel. But she didn't like it and I don't want to stress her out. Now see back there? See all that hair that's sticking up there? That's why I said you got to look. Uh, at all the sides because now I got to clip... Girlfriend, look, me and you about to have a coming to Jesus talk. Is you nervous? Hmm? Huh? It's okay. Is it because I got this weird thing on my head? Is that what's freaking you out? I mean, I do kind of look kind of special. Y'all seen how I looked this earlier when I said good, my good mornings and my afternoons and evenings. Now, if you have a dog that has like long fluffy hair, you can just shake out the foot like that and it'll lay it down naturally and then you can just clip the hairs that stick out that you don't like. Girlfriend? She's like, I think you're done with that leg. And I'm like, dude, no, I'm not. Is this song on repeat? Now walk it out, walk it out. You can tell she's been chewing on her feet too. See all that decoloration? It's like a reddish orange. She's been chewing on her toes. Now we have allergies just about all year round here in Alabama. And I swear every year it gets worse and worse. I don't know what's in the air over here, but uh, these poor dogs just be gnawing at themselves. They're just gonna come up all this hair. Get our curves. See, I love that you can do a curve like this and it just goes with the angle of the body. So now walk that out. No, she's not going like this. No, she is daycare, so I don't know if these bows are going to last in her hair. Oh shit, yeah, I was supposed to show you them. I'll show you them here in a second. If I remember, because, you know, I done forgot already once. Now walk it out. Now now walk 
Okay, now. Now her tail is very pretty. It is very, she got a really pretty tail. I'm just glad it's not mad at her. Now see, I've always hated, see this, this is a flag tail. I think it is so stupid. The reason why I think it's stupid, I think it should be reversed. This be long and then it be short here because the poo poo gonna go right up on that, on that bottom of that tail. I hate that. So you know what I'm gonna do? We're going to grow this part out, and we're going to reverse this. Yeah, I know. I did that. And I know that probably pissed some people off, and I'm sorry. I'm not trying to piss you off. But I think it's stupid, especially for dogs that um, that get poo-poo in their, in their tail. Um, that's, the, that's the main reason why I don't like it, because the poop can still get stuck in there. In her tail. More than bows. Okay. These are the bows that she's going to have. They're Halloween and um, fall colors. Uh, I think she got these off of Amazon. Um, it was a pack of Halloween stuff. There are some other ones that have like little pumpkins and stuff on them. They're really cute. Get out the way, get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Here I come, here I go, uh oh. You see the head notch, you see the crap? Hit stage. That's it. What I do, young, successful, sex symbol. Who to? So excited about Halloween this year, y'all. Addie's gonna go out. Prince is gonna go out. But my question is, every year Halloween is sometimes not on Halloween. I think it's just so damn stupid. Like, why they gotta change it? Sometimes we're like, oh no, we're gonna do trick or treating on on this day. No, Halloween's October 31st. So I gotta find out when Halloween is for the neighborhood that we're going to be trick-or-treating we are going with one of the co-workers here we're actually going with a few co-workers here Bonner and Taylor uh, Bonner I had trained for grooming but with her work schedule and everything that's going on with Miss Natalie she took a back burner to it right now so she can deal with um, her daughter which is perfectly fine I respect that um, and then Taylor, who I am in the middle of training, and boy, she has done phenomenal. Now, if you go to my Facebook page on a mix of Melissa, you can see a reel of her, and then she's got some photos on there. She's got her photos of the dog she did last week. And then she also did another dog. She did Murray and then she did Loki. Loki's like a little mini doodle and Murray is a golden doodle. And then she also did a Bichon for her first haircut. And it's like she picks up really quick. She's really good at mimicking. And she's also been, you know, watching, you know, grooming videos, which are always very helpful you know watching other groomers see what the other groomers do so you can kind of get a your own little finesse on how you want to do your dogs 
Like she does her bodies really, really good. She does her scissor work fine. Um, her faces are the only thing that she has to work on, but it's not like a lot. It's just like, she's just afraid she's gonna cut off too much, which is understandable. Hold on, baby, I wanna make sure these are even. Uh, they took it. They took the collar and the leash. Okay, well, they're calling saying they... They took the collar and the leash. They get, I handed it to them because I asked the mom. I said, do you want this leash and collar? She said, yeah, we can take it. I took it off of them up there and gave it to the mom. It's attached to that leash. Girlfriend. I'm going to do this to the corner and to the other corner of the other eye. Stop. Always make sure when you're doing this. You're not getting the hair below it because that is a pain in the ass to have, have to blend in. Sometimes it's really, really hard. Sweet cheeks. Girlfriend, stop. Okay, we're gonna put these bows in her hair. Come here. Well, he wants two bows, so we're gonna separate this. One right up in here. Now, whenever you put dog bows in your dog's hair, um, always make sure to not do it super duper tight because you don't want it to get embedded and then become an issue. And always take them out. If you want to put them back in, you can put them back in. But take them out after like a few days, like a day or two, and comb it. 
because otherwise it's just going to mat up. I mean, sometimes we have clients that just will literally leave them in their ears until they come back again. And that's probably what's going to happen with her. But I always try to not put them in so loose so that if they do come back in with them, it's not painful. Because, you know, after a while of having uh, it up in your head for a while, your head gets tender. At least I know I do because I'm always having my hair up. And it's always so tender. Now, if you don't want to do pom-poms, you can always get the ears. Not the ears. I don't know why I said ears. You can always get it and like put it like that to where it's like a little bubble. If you don't want the pigtails. Okay, now we're just going to blend this part up here. Stop. Try to do this all the same length. Always make sure you know where the end of your ear leather is because you just don't want to go cut and stop. Because if you cut and you don't, girlfriend, I don't have anywhere else to hold your head. Stop. Well, I'll hold it back to here then. Um, because you don't want to just go and cut. Now, her ear leather is all the way up there. Because if you continue to just cut and you don't know where the ear leather is, and you can cut the ear leather itself and then before you know it, oh shit, you got a doll that's bleeding on your table from the not paying attention. Now they like her face long, so I'm literally just trimming up her beard, and that will be it. All right, so that's the look. She looks cute. Now I would like to do like a, a cute little round head on her, but I don't know if the owners would like that. Um, that and plus I don't know if, I don't know if she'd look good with it. I mean, she might look good with it. All right, y'all. So that's this video. We're going to spray with some Skittles on her since it is Halloween season. Spooky season. So we're going to spray this Whiffy Sense on her. One squirt's all you need. Check out the girls at WhiffySense.com. You can also check them out on their Facebook page. They do do, um, they do do, they do do, well everybody do do's. They give away, they do giveaways um, pretty frequently. So go check them out, follow them, order some stuff. It's great stuff, I'm telling you, you won't forget it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Chelsea, say bye. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe bell and that notification bell. I think it's a button for the subscribe. But yeah, I gotta wear my little beanie because I get a little indentation from the the little head thing that I'm using. But I'll see y'all in the next video anyway. Bye. Thanks for watching. Love y'all.